Hey guys, I'm Peter Klaas from Masterclass and welcome back to my studio. Today we will be having a look at rack number two. Rack two is the URI Teletronics Universal Audio Rack. It has four 1176s, two LA3s, an 1178 and some EQs. So let's start with the first compressor. It's a 1176 Revision B, also nicknamed the Blue Stripe. The Blue Stripe has the tendency to be a really dirty compressor. So if I want a rock and roll vocal with just an edge of distortion, this is my go-to compressor. It just distorts in a really nice way because it's not actually distortion, it's DC bleed through, something the older uh, 1176 is all just benefit from so what is a technical malfunction actually is just the sound of the compressor I've got it set with a medium high attack time with a pretty slow uh, release set to 4 over 1 but if I want and I want to really smack a snare to death I can also just press the 4 buttons and make it into what they call British mode yeah. the output of this one goes into the input of my Neve 31105 it's like a 1081 that you probably know better they are actually Shep built Neve module, so Neve gave the right to Shep to produce these strips, and that just makes it a bit rare. The second one I've got here is an 1176 Revision D, so it is a different design than this one. So this one is more aggressive, and this is really, really transparent. It's my go-to compressor for a very transparent vocals or for bass. Also, this one goes to the second channel of my Neve. Next up is a consecutive serial number pair of Revision Ds. They are linked together with this stereo adapter. So, they have a lower setting of the gain with a higher setting of the output giving me my 3 dB of compression with slow attack, fast release ratios set to 4 over 1 giving me a really transparent sound if I want keyboards or horn section or string section to be compressed slightly this is my go-to pair the output of these two go into my API 550 Bs they have a high shelf starting from 2K5, so also in the face sound. And I add a little bit of 240 hertz to get still the body, even if you know you shelved it, it still retains the body. This is super transparent, this is very solid sounding. Um, the APIs and the URI together is just a match made in heaven. Next up, my beloved pair of Teletronics LA3As opto compressors so very slow attack very slow release my go-to for kick and snare both are just amazing how they can add punch and power to those instruments the output of that one goes first into the valley rack and kick channel has a gain brain I know a lot of people they like distressors well this is Papa distressor actually the design of a distressor is based on this gain brain um, I use it as a fast compressor to shave off a little bit of those peaks to get this really tight and consistent kick drum sound and volume um, that's my go-to kick compressor combined with my LA3. The snare LA3 goes into a commander. A commander is basically a gain brain coupled to a expander. So it's a gate which makes the snare automatically a bit more tight but also something happens with the sound that you can't describe. 
the closest thing it does is if you compare it to like a transient designer on snare you know you turn the attack button and it smacks the hell out of it well the commander does the same thing but i think it sounds just a little bit m less plastic it's just very punchy very tight and then of course we need a little bit of coloring eq and that's why i sent the signal of the kick into the left api 560 which is a graphic eq and the snare goes into the 560 on the right on both channels i add a little bit of 16k and 8k i take out a little bit of 125 on the kick and i add a bit of 125 on the snare a little bit of the puzzle that needs to fit together and i boost a little bit of mid on the kick to give it the mid presence it needs in the mix so la trees going to the gain brain and the commander going to the api 560s also a match made in heaven it can never go wrong with that combo the last compressor in the rack is an 1178 it's a different design than the revision d's because this one has a class a b op amp in the circuitry while these are class a and they are super transparent an 1178 i don't think it's that transparent but it suits me well for overheads or rooms so i've been looking for a, a compressor to tighten up overheads and rooms well when i found the 1178 i was just amazed and I've got it set up with a very slow attack time, equaling about 35 or 40 milliseconds. So it really adds punch and lets through all the transients of the symbols. And it's just an amazing room or overhead compressor. I have a quick release. So it just follows the drums in a certain way. I might play with the release time regarding uh, the tempo of the song, but it's just working out great. EQ that is behind it is actually a channel strip from a Midas XL4. It's one of the best sounding analog consoles for live use I've ever heard. And uh, Clark Technic, which belonged in the same group as the Midas guys, they made a channel strip like an XL42, but this one doesn't have the whole bussing system. So it means that if you have different XL42s, you will have uh, the ability to link them all together and if you say well i have eight xl42s you will have a 16 into 2 mixer in a rack this one just has the insert in and out function um, and i'm running it through the mic input so it's definitely colored in a very midas -y way and that just is a match uh, with the URI 1178. So also this is a great combo. If you like this video, please smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back for rack three and four. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye.